Thank you, Megan. Um, all right, so today we're going to be talking about Labware Limbs User Experience, Five Quick Wins. Uh, my name is Jessica Marriott. I'm a Limbs Consultant here at Seesaws. Um, let me dive into a little bit of my background before we jump into these wins. Um, so like I said, my name is Jessica. Um, I have my bachelor's in biochemistry and my master's in biotechnology bioinformatics. I'm currently a limbs informatics consultant here at CSOLs working on supporting labware implementations. Uh, previously, I have eight years of laboratory experience in various laboratories, including chemistry, molecular biology, and genomic medicine labs. Um, after those eight years, I moved over to the limbs development, and for the past four years, have been doing limbs development in Labware 7 specifically, um, working primarily with biopharmaceutical industry clients, um, helping them get their um, implementations from vendor selection to go live. Um, and so the past four years, I've worked on a lot of big projects and little projects. So I wanted to summarize uh, some of the, the projects that we can leverage as quick wins. Um, and so that's what I put together in this webinar today. So the agenda for today is I'll go over what I mean by a quick win. And then we'll discuss five small projects that can be leveraged to be a quick win, including HTML panes, role-specific workflows, targeted reports, selective instrument interfacing, and user enhancements and bug fixes. I'll wrap everything up at the end with a summary before we dive into the Q&A. Um, so let's get started. Quick wins. Why do we need some quick wins? Uh, 2020 has been hard enough already. This year has um, made deadlines being pushed back, managing different delays in our timelines because of new working environments, um, a win, at the end of the year could be a great morale booster. Um, it's also the end of the calendar year or maybe coming up at the end of the fiscal year for your company, it's fast approaching. Getting one more win to add to your list of achievements is always a nice way to cap off the year. Um, so what do I mean by a, a quick win? Um, some, we wanna work on a project that can either streamline a process, increase your user satisfaction, and require just limited validation, all these combined will get you a quick win. Um, and what do I mean by a small project? Um, small can mean different things to different people. So when I say, for the purpose of this webinar, I'm gonna classify it something that can be accomplished in less than two months with one or at most two developers. That's what we mean by a small project. And to get these quick wins out, there's some critical success factors that you need to take into account before you dive into your projects. One of them is proper uh, planning. That's always needed. Um, you need to get the right requirements the first time so you're not having to go back and forth with your subject matter experts. You need to know what dependencies there are, if anything, for doing these tasks before the project can start. Are there other bigger projects that are waiting on the smaller one or is the smaller one that can be done first? Um, you need to know how much effort is going to be required to map out timelines for those dependencies and what kind of validation or change control you're going to need in order to finish off the project. Having that known ahead of time is um, going to be critical to getting a quick win. You're also going to need the technical expertise for whatever project you're working on. Um, if you have someone on your development team that has the skills required, then you can do that. And finally, your resource availability. Is that technical person available to work on that project right now? Are the subject matter experts available for requirement gathering? Um, do you have the funds for this next project? Making sure you have your resources in line before you start will help you get that quick win. So the five projects I'm gonna talk about that you can leverage to be a quick win um, are gonna be HTML panes. These are built-in areas in Labware that allow for information to be to be displayed in a visual manner so users can get the information they need where they need it and in a quickly digestible manner. We'll jump into role-specific workflows, um, streamlining processes that already exist in your system that can be focused on a specific, specific user or laboratory process. Um, we'll talk about targeted reports, ways to increase the readability of your reports by making them targeted to a specific audience or data set. We'll dive into selective instrument interfacing, how to transform the giant task of 
interfacing your instruments into quick projects by selectively interfacing your instruments. And finally, we'll discuss um, user enhancements and bug fixes, how to streamline that process for addressing these, as well as increasing your user engagement in the development process. And so with that, let's jump into the first small project, HTML panes. So what are they? Well, when we talk about HTML panes, we're talking about the windows that are in Labware that allow for configuration with HTML. Um, they allow for interactive visuals, dynamic screens, or even having your own company branding or coloring being displayed back to your users. Um, they're found in a lot of different places in Labware, um, in the result entry window, review window, storage manager, uh, the message windows, um, order manager window has some HTML panes, and also you can even do HTML reports within Labware. So there's a lot of places to leverage HTML within Labware. And why would we want to you know, take the time to work on an HTML pane? Um, it gives your users contextual information displayed at the time it's needed. Um, and it can also give you faster access to information with less clicks. So users don't have to pull up another screen or click around. They can see information um, without digging for it in your system. So let's go over a few places where you can implement these HTML planes. I mentioned there's a lot of them. Um, and there's also additional modules within Labware that add additional HTML panes depending on your system configuration. So I'm going to try and stick to some uh, out of the box places. Um, the result entry window is a great place to utilize an HTML pane. You can display the protocol that the user should be following as they enter the results. Um, you can also um, put in SQC chart to display visual data at the time of entry. The SQC charts are those statistical quality control charts that show your limits and specifications as you're entering data. Um, you can also do HTML reports as well, but let's talk about Storage Location Manager. That's another great place to implement an HTML pane. Um, you can visualize your storage availability. You can put some charts up there to show percentages of availability to know which freezer to go put your samples into. Um, you can also customize uh, what relevant fields are displayed without having to drill down, because we know in Storage Manager, you can go from a site to a building to a room to a fridge, to a shelf, to a box, all the way down to your sample. Um, so that can take a lot of clicks for your users, but if you um, put in a custom HTML pane on your storage location manager, you can get that information without having your user drill down. 